Good day, Jonathan. It's Josh here from Dairy Dodge, and uh, here is just a quick video here of a Wrangler for you. So, four door Wrangler, I believe, is what you're looking for, and um, there's three different types. There's a Sport, there's a Sahara, and there's a Rubicon. Sport being the cheap one, Sahara is kind of being the more of the luxury ones, and then Rubicon is being the absolute most hardcore ones we have. So this one I grabbed a Sahara. They are the nicest driving ones for sure, and. Um, this one is maybe a little bit of a lower level one, but you'll still see they do come with lots of options. Um, starting, of course, with the remote start, which is a big thing for Canada. But let me just show you around here, and I'll tell you what it's all about. So look, yeah, we got the fog lights on here. We got the two tow hooks. They can support the weight of the vehicle, which is pretty cool. So our vehicle turned off just because it's low on fuel right now. But there you see we have the upgraded rims. They're very nice here in Sahara already come with the side steps on it. Painted, the one nice thing about Sahara is you do get the painted roof as well as the fenders. So even if this color doesn't work for you, like there's a red one there, we got yellow ones, you do just about any color you want, but most of the Wranglers have a black top and black fenders, this one's all painted. And it's a nice vehicle, but let me hop inside here and I'll show you some of the features. To start, there's only power locks on the doors. I'll get um, reason for that is we put all the buttons in the middle. As you probably know, the doors do come right off this vehicle. The roof comes off. Even the windshield here can fold flat right down to these bumpers here, which is kind of cool. So we keep as little buttons on these doors as possible just to make them a little easier to pop off, and they are very easy. Hop inside, you give me one sec. I'm just gonna bring everything here to life. So one thing, kind of like the Trailhawk, we do have quite a few buttons on the steering wheel. Again, for the little center screen, this one doesn't show quite as much as the Trailhawk, but it'll still tell you a whole bunch of different things about the vehicle, especially if you're looking for your tire pressures and that. Kind of a handy off-road tool. Got our Bluetooth controls right there. Cruise control, and again, like the Trailhawk, we have the buttons in the back of stereo. That being said, a little different screen. So this is Uconnect 430N. Again, um, very user friendly. It's got the AM, FM. This one's got satellite for a year as well. We've got our Bluetooth controls. Um, got our uh, yeah, so for radio, media. So we still have um, you still Bluetooth from our phone. You can still use USB. You can still use auxiliary. And in this case, it actually has a 28 gig inbuilt hard drive, which is kind of convenient since this is one of the last vehicles you can actually get as a CD player. But nice thing is you stick a CD or something in that, and you can download the music right off of it. So you can keep it all on a hard drive that's already built in. Um, then you can go, of course, to just all our different audio settings and that for where you want it. A little past me, I'm more of an engine transmission person, but here we go. Also got navigation, also designed by Garmin, just like the other one. Um, and works with your Bluetooth phone and all that. Here we go to all our window buttons. So right in the middle, just to keep buttons off the inside, we've got our air controls here, power windows for the sides, here are our heated seats, again they do work with the remote start, button for the power outlet, which is right here, that 115 volt. Of course this one is an automatic, it's got the 5 speed automatic, probably the most proven automatic we've ever had. And then here's our 4 wheel drive settings. These seats are cloth. Now, I like these seats a lot personally, but you can get the leather if you like. Then you got a good size glove box and a dual center console. So it's just the top and the bottom. And if we go right down here to the bottom, we have a little green toolkit. This toolkit has everything you need to take the roof and the doors off. Then if we hop into the back, if you're worried about space in the back, we do have quite a bit. Don't mind that bag over there, that's just our floor mats. Like I'm not the smallest person in the world. Lots of room, um, for sure. Another cool thing is because the doors come off, we put the speakers there in the front corners as you see, and right up here in the roof. So right above the passengers. So when you do take the roof and doors off, you still do get some very good sound out of the vehicle. Of course, again, our power windows are down here. And then as well, very easy to fold down these seats if you need to. Just like so. So 
So if we go right to the very back, see lots of space, those seats fold flat as well. Underneath of here, we got a little area out of those holes, it's just for keeping the little bolts for when we take the roof and doors off. There's even a bag in here, so if you take the front portion of the roof off, you can stick it in the back and uh, you don't have to get a scratch. And from back here, you can kind of see the roll cage, a little better idea what the vehicle's going to like when look like when you do have that stuff off. Anyways, John, again, here is just a Jeep Ranger Sahara. If you have any other questions, there's other options you'd be looking for, let me know. Um, might be my favorite vehicle or one of them too. I'm a little biased. Um, I'm looking to buy a Cherokee, but I already own one of these, so <laughs> a little bit torn, but let me know what you think, and uh, I hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day. Mm, bye.